Octavio Paz is a powerful writer and poet of Latin literature. The poem we are dealing with today, Brotherhood, Homage to Claudius Ptolemy, is one of the exquisite lyrics penned down by this genius. This poem has a philosophical overtone to it, but it in no way hampers the smooth and easy flow of lyricism right throughout the poem. The poem recaptures the varying moods of the poet. Initially, the poet is haunted by a sense of death. This primarily is due to the fact that life is brief. The poet is dejected at the brevity of life. However, he gains inspiration on looking at the sky lit up with stars. Just as stars illumine the sky, he has a new realization. He feels that his predecessors, they are also alive long after they have left this world because of the immortal creations. He too feels that he has a lot to impart to people. He has his own creations. And the creations are eventually going to make him stay alive <coughs> in the hearts of the people. Moreover, he senses the presence of God. God, the creator, feels for all his children. Therefore, a close sense of kinship or bond is created between the poet and God. This poem has these delicate nuances which make it all the more enjoyable. Let us go through the poem Brotherhood Homage to Claudius Ptolemy by Octavio Paz. I am a man, little do I last, and the night is enormous, but I look up the stars right. Unknowing I understand, I too am written. And at this very moment, someone spells me out. At the beginning of this poem, the poet clearly declares, I am a man, little do I last. When he says that, I am a man, it means that he considers himself to be nothing more than a human being, rather a man speaking to men. He is a man who is speaking to men, conveying his ideas. And little do I last, little do I last actually provides the sense of dejection or gloom that results due to the brevity of life. As I already mentioned that initially the poet was rejected at the prospect of the brevity of life. He feels that life is too short. Everyone has to face death one day. And that is why he says that he is a man speaking to men and his existence on this planet is short-lived and it will eventually be cut short by death. Next he speaks about the night being enormous. He says, and the night is enormous. Here, two aspects have been dealt with. One, human life, which is short-lived and momentary. And two, the life beyond, which is infinite and eternal. After the life is over, we venture out into the alleys of death, the dark and eternal alleys of death. And there, the charm, beauty, of this mortal life have no value at all. Therefore, a sense of pessimism and nihilism crops up in the mind of the poet. However, instead of being crestfallen by this nihilism or pessimism, what he does is, instead of looking down and feeling low, he looks up. He looks up at the starry sky and gains a lot of confidence. The stars lit up the sky and these stars eventually provide a lot of self-confidence to the poet. They convey the fact that all is not lost, there is a lot of hope that you look forward to in life. And this guides the poet on. He says, unknowingly I understand. Unknowingly I understand. Knowledge is something that you can analyze. Knowledge is something analytical. But perception is intuitive. So, he understands, but he understands with his heart. When the head fails, the heart is at work. And this is what actually is the case over here. He doesn't think, just feels it, just feels this wisdom. The realization dawns upon him that 
he will live through his creations and he says i too am written this is actually the, the realization that i too am written that means i am a writer i have my creations and i am going to exist in the minds of my readers long after my mortal body has perished i am going to live through my works and it's a matter of fact that something that is beautiful is appreciated only by the beholder if that beautiful object doesn't receive appreciation that doesn't exist in the long run hence the poet says that i am going to exist by means of my poem i am going to be eternal in the minds of my readers through my creations since i am a creative person it's something that i hope for and this hope will spur me on i am going to be guided by this hope and this hope has been uh, conveyed upon me by the stars that illumine the sky they light up the sky and they also provide a ray of hope to the poet to proceed in life to look at life from a more positive angle i to am written also refers to god god has created us and the other objects in nature and the poet understands that there is a strong bond that exists between him and god there is a strong kinship that exists and as long as this kinship or communion exists there is absolutely no reason for him to feel rejected and the brevity of life life will go on as it should but there should not be any reason for him to be disheartened about it there should not be any reason for him to feel bad that life is so brief therefore the two things that he realizes are god looks after all his creations and he is going to live long after his physical body has perished through his creations which the readers are going to appreciate and going to love and this love will eventually make him stay alive for centuries to come and god is there to take care of him as the creator and god comprehends him perfectly then he goes on to say and at this very moment someone spells me out at this very moment actually refers to the special moment when the realization dawned upon him that there is plenty of hope in life a man lives through his works there is nothing to feel rejected that special moment is actually referred to as at this very moment at this very moment someone spells me out this someone may refer to god as well as to the uh, readers who appreciate the works of the poet and spells me out spells me out represents comprehends or understands which means that the poet clearly understands that a man lives through his creations and since the creator that is god himself is always looking after his creations then there is no fear there should not be any gloom all the gloom all the darkness of gloom is dispelled by the light of the stars is dispelled by this new realization that god is always there to care for you you just do your own work proceed with your own goal and achieve whatever you have to achieve in life because it's through your achievements that you are going to be eternalized in the minds of the people for centuries to come this realization totally transforms the poet as a man he gains the confidence and is sure about one thing the perfect communion between him and god that cannot be stopped anymore